This morning, we're about to conduct the Kimberly Clark Synergy Procedure. This is a cooled radio frequency procedure for the sacroiliac joint. There's a growing body of evidence for the support of this procedure. This procedure involves denervating the dorsal rami of L5 and the lateral branches of the S1 and S2 sacral neuroforamina in order to denervate the uh, sacroiliac joint. Some of the key portions of this procedure are position and using bowel prep. Bowel prep can save you a lot of time uh, in terms of visualization. In some instances, visualizing S1 or S2 can be challenging, but using cephalocauda tilt liberally and in a live fluoroscopic fashion can expedite identifying the neuroforamina and conducting the pr procedure quickly and efficiently. To begin, we identify the L5 vertebral body and the L5-S1 disc space below. The fluoroscope is then tilted in the cephalad fashion so that the superior end plate of S1 is crisp. Once that end plate is lined up, we obtain ipsilateral oblique so that the superior articular process of S1 bisects the disc. Again, at this level, this may be challenging for individuals with high iliac crests or where the sacral ala may impede progress. That may necessitate a slightly decreased oblique angulation. The base of the superarticular process is used as our target. Once the skin is anesthetized, the radiofrequency needle is placed with a coaxial technique. This gun barrel technique allows for optimal perpendicular placement, once again taking advantage of the distal projection of the lesion to ablate the dorsal rami at L5. Once an appropriate trajectory is obtained, you may proceed to bony contact. Once, once there's bony contact, we'll then change to an AP view to ensure appropriate placement of the needle. In AP, the needle is intended to lay at the junction of the superior articular process and the transverse process. At L5, this is at the junction of the sacral ala and the superior articular process of S1. Once you're co comfortable in an AP position, a lateral view is undertaken to ensure appropriate depth. This appropriate depth will ensure that the lesion will not project into the neuroforamina. And in this view, the depth is, is, is of appropriate appropriate nature to conduct the lesion. The stylet is then removed and an anesthetic mixture is injected after which the electrode is placed. 30 to 40 seconds, 30 to 30 seconds to a minute, excuse me, after the um, anesthetic is injected, the procedure may be conducted at this level. Typically, I perform the L5 level by itself and which helps facilitate the use of the multi-cooled RF module at the S1 and S2 levels. Once the procedure is completed at L5, an anesthetic and serid mixture is injected and the needle and the, and the uh, electrodes are removed, or electrode is removed. We then turn our attention to S1 and S2. S2 is typically, excuse me, S1 is typically visualized with cephalad tilt. Once the neuroforamina is identified, the left lateral border is identified. The skin is anesthetized and a finder needle is placed into the neuroforamina. The same thing is conducted S2. Typically, S1 is visualized with a neutral cephalocauda tilt. Once again, the lateral border is identified, the skin is anesthetized, and a finer needle is placed at this level. Once the finer needles are placed, a Kimberly-Clark epsilon may be used to mark 
the sites of the radio frequency ablation. In this view, the epsilon is, is visualized. In our practice, we do not use the epsilon um, consistently. Instead, we lesion at the 230 position, the 4 o'clock position, and the 530 position, both at S1 and S2. Typically, a single probe is placed first at S1, at the 230 position to bony contact. An initial probe is placed at S2, once again at the 230 position. Once the probes are, once the needles are placed, the stylets are removed, an anesthetic mixture is injected, and the probes are placed. This allows for dual lesions, saving time. Prior to lesioning, a lateral view is undertaken to ensure appropriate depth. The sacrum typically tapers laterally, and therefore, often the probes appear that they are deeper or as deep as the finder needle. But in this representation are, are of appropriate depth, given the laterality. Once position is confirmed, the two and a half minute lesion time can be conducted. Once the lesions are completed at the 230 position, the probes are removed and the stylets are replaced. The needles are then retracted to the subcutaneous tissues and redirected to the 4 o'clock position. Once again, once bony contact is made, the, needle, the, pro, uh, the stylets are removed and the electrodes are placed. Certainly, you may consistently obtain lateral views to confirm depth as well. Once appropriate positioning is confirmed, once again, the lesion can be performed. Once the lesion is completed, the probes are once again removed, the stylets are replaced, and the needles are retracted to the subcutaneous tissues. At this point, the needles are redirected in a caudad direction to the 530 lesion. It's important to maintain a safe distance from the neuroforamina at all times. Once positioning is confirmed, the stylets are removed, the probes are placed after an injection of anesthetic mixture. A lateral view can be undertaken to ensure appropriate placement. Once placement is confirmed, the last two lesions can be conducted, once again taking it, t making use of the multi-cooled RF module to conduct multiple lesions at one time. Once all lesions are completed, the probes are removed, and subsequently, the introducer needles are removed as well. Finally, the finder needles are also removed. You just seen us perform Kimberly Clark's Synergy Procedure, a cooled radiofrequency procedure for sacroiliac joint dysfunction. This is a common condition seen in our practice following failed lumbar fusion surgery. This procedure accounts for the variability of both the course of the nerves, specifically the lateral branches, and the variability of the posterior surface of the sacrum. It uses an internally cooled probe 
with a distally projecting lesion that overlaps based on the, the placement of the needles to both cover those lateral branches and the variability